In this video, we want to just show you how to repair the contacts inside of a solenoid on a Nipodenso type starter. These starters are used on a lot of Toyotas, Hondas, Subarus, Chryslers. If you see that the shape of the solenoid is, is like this, then you've got one of these Nipodenso starters and they're actually really easy to repair. They last forever except for the contacts in the starter eventually wear out after a lot of starts and a lot of miles. So what you do is you take these three screws out of the back of the solenoid housing here. You'll find here's the solenoid plunger. And that plunger moves in and out. This is the piece that moves when the solenoid is engaged. What happens is this copper disc, when it pulls down, it should come in contact with both contacts. If my fingers are the contacts, it should come down and hit both of them equal, evenly. But as they wear out, one of them gets low and it comes down and goes click, click, click. And it never contacts the other contact and completes the circuit. So all you hear is a click when you try to start the car. So if we look down in here, if you look down in here, these are the contacts. This contact here, you can see this, the wear that's happened on both of them. So this has been hitting it. It's worn them down. And usually you find that one of them is worn more than the other one, and that's what's made it happen. And this one here on this side is worn quite severely. And it's quite low. And so we can get these contacts. We pick them up for just a couple of dollars and replace these. And I'll show you how to do that. Point where actually we've already replaced one of these one of these contacts. This was the old one, and you can see that it's worn down. And the new one's been put in on this side, and to do that you undo the nut, and you push this bolt out and take off all of the pieces that are in there. There's an insulator, and then there's an O-ring to keep the water out. Now we'll do the other side. So to do that, we undo the, first undo the nut. This is the, of course, the M terminal, and this is the B terminal. This is what comes from the battery. This one goes to the starter motor. So loosen the nut there, disconnect the wire that goes to the motor, we loosen the second nut, now you should be able to pull off the insulator. There's an O-ring on there that's important to keep moisture out of the starter, out of the solenoid. And then be careful, you've got these small wires here, only on the one side actually, with this small wire that connects to the solenoid winding. You don't want to break that, so just be careful with that wire. We'll separate the bolt from the terminal here. Take off the insulator on the other side, that black insulator. There's the terminal that we want to replace. Okay, so let's get a new one and put it together. This is the same process that they did on the other side, minus, of course, this, this connector and wire right here, but it was the same thing on the other side. that o-ring on there, the insulator, yes. make sure that everything snugs up nicely there. Now one thing to watch, as we're as he tightens this, we just want to make sure it doesn't tweak the, this contact. The contact needs to sit flat and straight, so you kind of have to hold it with your finger. Okay, once it's tight, you just want to verify that this contact is straight, both contacts are, are flat. 
remember before you put the plunger back in, it also has this contact surface around it that it's going to be flat, but it's probably pitted. And so one thing to do that uh, might help it to contact better, to make a better, a better electrical connection, is to grab some emery cloth or sandpaper and just sand that down a little bit until it's shiny. It doesn't take a lot, don't make it perfect, but just sand it down and smooth that out a little bit. And that'll ensure a good electrical connection. And then it will drop right back inside of here. Put the, put the cover back on and it's done.